Representatives from South Africa are seeing no great gains from the conference that will in any way help traders from developing countries to do business on the global arena. The delegates are asking rich countries to revise their standards and make them fair and accommodative to developing countries. The European Union and the US should reduce the hefty tariffs according to them that were imposed on processed goods exported into their markets. This would give developing nations an opportunity to participate in international trade and be able to grow economically. Clearly there's strong vested interests from the developed world and they are controlling the WTO. But we've got to look at what is the best way to deal with it. We need multilateral institutions where we can all negotiate. When we are on our own in these engagements in bilateral discussions with other countries, because we are the smaller, weaker economies, we always get a bad deal. With this uh, event which has taken place for the whole week, as civil society we are disappointed for what has happened for the past 14 years after the Doha around was signed. Nothing has happened and now we are faced with the Americans which are adamant that they won't change. Hai Yon Chung, together with his team of the Korean Peasants League, has been camping outside the ministerial conference venue KICC for the last three days. According to her organization, it is time the WTO is disbanded. They are seeking to raise awareness over the trade discrimination with which the World Trade Organization is subjecting countries such as South Korea. Uh, we would like the WTO to disband. The WTO basically is an instrument for advanced countries and multinational corporations to force their surplus products upon developing countries. That happened in Korea, and so all these cheap priced products would come in, they would flood the markets and bring down the prices tremendously. So the local people could not compete at all. We thought by bringing this WTO first time in Africa, we would have achieved something. We are very much disappointed. We are asking all the civil societies to group themselves together and if it needs be the WTO must go. Their cry is worthwhile as most WTO members are from developing countries and if these pertinent issues are not looked into and reviewed, these states will not take part in international trade or compete favorably in the world market and therefore undermine trade between the developed and the developing world. Solomon Wery, GBS News.